सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज आई हैड कवर्ड थ्री मॉड्यूल्स ऑफ वी एल एस आई सब्जेक्ट राइट द सब्जेक्ट कोड वॉज द सब्जेक्ट नेम इज वी एल एस आई डिजाइन एंड टेस्टिंग एंड द कोड वॉज बी ई सी सिक्स जीरो टू सो आई हैव कवर्ड टिल नाउ थ्री मॉड्यूल्स ओनली टू मॉड्यूल्स आर लेफ्ट सो दिस इज द मॉड्यूल फोर द नेम ऑफ द मॉड्यूल इज सी मॉस सर्किट एंड लॉजिक डिजाइन टिल नाउ यू कुड बी सेंग दैट दिस इज द वेरी इजिएस्ट मॉड्यूल वेर यू आर Uh, we would be uh, designing some logic circuits there are many logic circuits here and uh, the designing part is very easy because some part of it we have already discussed in module 1 that is how to draw the cmos circuits okay where we have pmos and nmos transistors in the pull up and pull down part so those things already we know also we know to draw when we give when we are given one expression we know how to draw the uh, cmos uh, circuit as well but in this fourth module we are going to discuss with the same thing that that is uh, uh, they would be discussing about how to draw the cmos expression logical circuits that is there in this but additional to that using expressions how to draw layouts and some layouts of two input nand gate nor gate and inverters we are going to discuss in this module along with that we have one important physical layout that is called as euler path method method in the upcoming videos i'm going to tell you then we have some different types of logic design cmos circuits okay using those logic design circuits we are going to draw the circuits based on the given expression okay those things are very easy there are slight changes one by one in each video i am going to discuss okay so let us start with this module now module 4 introduction in earlier discussions we introduced cmos logic under assumption that mos transistor behave as ideal switches so this thing we have already discussed in module 1 that how transistors behave as switches okay however real mos transistors exhibit certain limitations that deviate from this idealized behavior so far we have primarily focused on fully complementary cmos logic structures and the ratioed cmos inverter okay that is we have discussed only with the complementary cmos structures okay where we have seen how to draw the cmos circuits in nmos and uh, where uh, in pull up part we have pmos and pull down part we have nmos everything those things you have discussed but we have not discussed with some alternate cmos circuits which are required to design any of the cmos circuits okay so that those things are not we are going to discuss in this in these videos here we will explore alternative cmos logic configurations beyond fully complementary logic we have some other configurations one by one each of them we are going to discuss the impact of non ideal switch behavior on circuit performance we are going to discuss then a comparative analysis of different logic structures that is as i have told you right we are going to uh, study different 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 logic circuits and we are going to see their advantages disadvantages how it works and uh, how to draw those circuits and all we are going to see okay slight changes okay in the pull up and pull down part and uh, it would be very easy guys you believe me this module is the easiest one okay amongst all key design considerations while designing the cmos circuits two crucial aspects must be addressed to achieve the desired performance that is circuit design that is the structural design and the layout that is the physical design so these these two are the major pa parameters which you are going to focus on this module okay under circuit design it involves selecting the appropriate logic configuration and transistor arrangements okay in the layouts it dis deals with the physical placement and interconnections of transistors on a ic chip or a layout chip okay so these two design phases are closely interconnected to each other the behavior of circuits at a lower level can influence high level architectural decisions okay therefore the system designers must have a fundamental understanding of low level circuit design to make the informed choices at higher levels of abstraction so this means that uh, if uh, using this design different cmos design circuits it would be very essential to draw any complex circuits it would be very easy to draw any complex circuits in the uh, future demand in the vlsi so these uh, different design circuits are very essential so that's why these design considerations would be keeping a vital role in designing these circuits okay next is cmos logic structures okay in certain situations fully complementary static cmos gates may not be most efficient choice okay the area required for implantation might be excessive the speed may be too low or the function may not be directly realizable using a purely complementary structure that is if you apply only the cmos complementary logic to any of the circuit it won't be that much beneficial okay for some complex circuits 
it involves some other layout uh, layout design patterns so that's why in order to uh, so that's why it is better if you have more than one or more than two design patterns if you know it and it is well and good okay in such cases alternative cmos logic structures that is uh, more uh, no, other than this cmos complementary logic we have some other alternative cmos logic structure it can be employed to design smaller and faster gates okay that is in order to reduce the complexity it is very very essential however these improvements of often come at the cost of increased design complexity greater operational challenges and potential reductions in circuit stability okay so need for this uh, alternative cmos logic structure need is it uh, it needs in the area of area constraints speed limitations and design feasibility okay so one by one now let us start so first is cmos complementary logic okay so this is not new to you all okay cmos complementary logic is widely used due to its robust robustness and ratioless operation okay so this is the main use of this cmos complementary logic the properties of this are ratioless operation this means that all complementary cmos gates can be designed such that the circuit functions correctly even when all transistors are of equal size okay so when all the transistors are of equal size the cmos uh, structure would be looking correctly even and it would be ma matching with all other transistors in a particular schematic next is optimization although basic functionality is achieved with uniform transistor sizing speed optimization techniques involving different transistor sizes will be introduced later next we have complex logic implementation more complex gates can also be implemented during this cmos logic so that only that is uh, if you want any complex circuits to be implemented using these uh, uh, cmos complementary logic structures you could be easily adapting that okay for example a complex gate implementing the function so this is the function given that is one uh, logical expression they have mentioned for this you should be drawing the cmos circuit okay so this is not new you see here the expression they have given z is equal to a into b plus c into d plus e okay so this is the expression given so this is the circuit uh, diagram for the particular expression okay you see here this is not new in the pull up part as i have told you right in between pmos and nmos part so in, from the middle you should be taking the output so they have taken from middle here okay from here only they have stretched it in this is the pull up part and this is the pull down part where pull up part consists of all the pmos transistors and pull down part consists of all the nmos transistors so i i will, i have already told you in my first module that is when the when the two inputs or two variables are multiplied then in the pull up part the pmos would be in parallel and the nmos would be in series and when the two variables or the terms are uh, added then in the pull up part pmos would be in series and nmos would be connected in parallel Okay, based on that the connections are made here you see a into b so these two are multiplied so a and b are uh, given separately and they are given parallelly then it is added with c into d plus e so you first you see here d plus e d plus e so they are uh, in series here okay d and e and that is multiplied with the term c so that's why d and e would be in parallel with c and totally a a into b plus c into d plus e so it's getting added so these two connections are in series okay so this is for the pull up part similarly for a pull down part the nmos connections are just reverse here it was in series a and b now here it was in parallel so now here in nmos logic it would be in series similarly here e and d are in series here it would be in parallel and this c with this would uh, this was in parallel in pmos and here it would be in series okay and these two branches are in, were in series in pmos now these two branches are in parallel okay just do the vice versa of the pull up part and uh, this is the complete cmos complementary logic structure to be drawn okay they would, they would be giving you either they would be giving you any, ex any expression and for, and uh, with that expression they would be telling you to draw the cmos complementary logic of the logic design of the circuit or they would be giving you two input nand gate nor gate xor gate xnor gate etc okay so drawing this uh, connection it is very very easy so connection considerations so considerations are body effect it affects the threshold voltage of transistors influencing circuit performance then we have leakage currents improper substrate connections may lead to increased leakage or latch up issues then we have power integrity proper substrate biasing ensures reliable operation across varying process conditions okay so these are the considerations to be in the cmos complementary logic 
so that was it for this video guys so this was just the introduction part of this uh, cmos logic design circuits and we have started with the cmos complementary logic so one by one we are going to see with different different logic design circuits so next one is pseudo nmos logic so this is uh, again very easy one we are we are going to discuss this in the next video okay so that's all guys thank you